What's going on everybody? I'm back with another YouTube video. Now, in today's video, guys, we are going to be doing my very first movie review on the channel. I'm super excited to do this, and it is going to be on uh, Disney's Inside Out. So before we st get started with the movie review, I do have a few announcements to make. Um, for future planned videos, I'm probably going to record uh, some more movie reviews. Don't expect some more book reviews in the near future. I've kind of been slowing down on reading the book so I can get some other stuff done. Um, and also, happy Mother's Day. Just wanted to say that. I did put it on the community post, but I'll just say it in this video as well. The day that I'm recording this is on Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day. I will be celebrating that later today. Uh, she already opened the presents, though, my mom. Um, and then I might do some gameplay videos in the future. I don't really know right now. Like I said a few weeks ago, the gameplay videos are just kind of at a halt right now. I'm not exactly sure if I want to do one, uh, but it'll probably not be a gameplay from a stream. It'll probably be one recorded off my PS4. I could do some kind of like DVD build or something like that. We'll, we'll have to see what happens there. But for right now, I would probably expect some movie reviews. Uh, and, but there, there's, you know, always no promises. But movie reviews for sure. And uh, other than that, the announcements that I always make is read the community post so that you can stay up to date. Uh, the community posts are a bit jank right now. I don't know if it's working or if this is happening on your end as well, but for me, I keep getting old community posts that are popping up and it's not showing my newest ones. So if you see a community post from like a month ago pop up, make sure you scroll down and look for a much more recent one because for some reason it's been doing that to me and it's really annoying me. Um, and make sure you join the Discord. Link will always be in the description and be respectful Follow the rules while you're on the Discord. We've had a lot of chaos lately, and I want to make sure that everybody is doing what they're supposed to be doing in the Discord, please. Um, but other than that, we are doing Inside Out today because that is what the poll agreed on. So, let's get started. Alright, so it's a bit strange doing a, um, a movie, or, or a Disney movie, for the first uh, <coughs> um, movie review. I would have never expected to do this, but since it was on the poll... Um, it is what it is, but this is one of the uh, uh, later Disney movies that actually managed to uh, uh, be a, a really, really good movie. You know, a lot of the, the later Disney movies are starting to fade. They're not as good. They're running out of ideas and stuff like that. I already made a rant on this a year, year or two ago. But uh, this one was made in 2015, and this movie was actually really, really, really good. Just right off the bat, I can say that this movie is a really good movie. And I think the reason why this movie was such a success is because it made you think. It, it, it really did. It made you think when you were watching the movie, you know, how, how uh, your life is being controlled and whatnot. It, it really tampers with your imagination, and I can only imagine that for little kids. I mean, just thinking about people controlling your brain and all your actions in life is just kind of an interesting idea. And that is that is something that Inside Out does really, really well, is it sparks your imagination and makes you really think about, you know, uh, you know how your life is ran and stuff like that. Uh, I, I really, really like that, that uh, idea that, uh, you know, whoever directed this movie did. But uh, very, very interesting uh, idea that just kind of tampers with your imagination. And uh, it makes you think about, you know, just the endless amount of memories in your life. Because you, you watch the movie and just the, you know, the almost endless maze of just memories that uh, Riley had. And all the forgotten memories and stuff like that. Um, when I watched this movie for the first time, I can't remember if I cried, but I, I think I might have. Especially when Riley... Um, was r running away from home because she, you know, obviously her idea of family was just completely removed. Um, and what this, this movie really emphasizes is the importance of, you know, core things in your life, family, friends, you know, something, some kind of hobby that you really, really like. Uh, so basically in the movie, for those of you who might have not watched this, there's basically five main characters in this movie. Uh, joy, fear, sadness, disgust, and anger, uh, which are the five, like, 
um, feelings that basically the five main feelings that she has. I, th I think they could have been a little bit more creative with the feelings. They probably could have had more, but I, I like how they kept it small. But if, if we were thinking about this logically, obviously there could be much more uh, unlimited amount of characters that they could have for feelings and stuff like that. But these are the five main ones, and honestly, they worked out pretty well for the movie. And she had core memories that would pop up uh, quite a bit, The basically the most important memories in her life. And she also had these different islands, like family, hockey, goofball island, and uh, friend island, and a few others, uh, which were, you know, basically her most important parts of her life. And what happens is uh, uh, sadness accidentally messes up the core memories, and they're trying to recover, you know... It, Basically, they kind of mess they kind of mess up her life, basically, and they have to get back to headquarters quick enough so that you know nothing bad happens or whatever. Uh, can't really explain it. I never like kind of understood uh, like how things got really messed up. Like I always thought, so you're basically going going to blame all of this conflict on sadness being an idiot. That's that's one of the things that kind of bothered me. Uh, like, the the way that they had to introduce the conflict was kind of just didn't really make sense to me. Uh, but it did leave, I, I guess it did and it didn't. I, I still don't really understand that part uh, a lot, but it um, it leaves room for, for character development under two main characters, which is Sadness and Joy. And um, throughout all this conflict, you realize how important these, these uh, parts of your life are to, to you, and if they're removed... Uh, you get to see what happens, basically. So they take what's happening inside and they show that if you take away these important aspects of life, this is what can happen. And that's basically what Riley and the whole, like, real world was used for. It was used to represent this is what's going to happen if these very important key things uh, inside of you are removed. So um, it did leave uh, room for, for character development and uh, left room to emphasize the importance of certain feelings. You know, life isn't just about being happy, but there's also parts of life where you can be uh, joyfully sad. You know, uh, tears of joy, basically. Um, so, yeah, this movie did a great job at representing, you know, that life isn't going to be perfect, and uh, it is important to have those bad moments in life. It kind of reminds me of, like, Disney's uh, Alexander and the Horrible, Terrible, No Good, Very Bad Day, which I'll probably review that sometime. Uh, but it, it kind of relates to that in, in a certain way. But, yeah, there's lots of fun in this movie, lots of exploration where they go out and they get to see these different, uh, you know, places that control different aspects of her life. Like, there's the Dream Studios, there's the uh, Imagination uh, land or whatever, you know, like, trophy, uh, town, and, uh, like, there's, like, this town that's, like, with fries and stuff like that, like, unlimited fries, you can eat as many fries as you want or whatever, um, there's, uh, like, a boyfriend maker, uh, so there's all kinds of different cool stuff that they do, uh, there is, uh, some funny moments in this film, I will admit, uh, you know, the jokes weren't really terrible, usually in the Disney movies, it's not, like, a bunch of fart jokes and stuff like that, our bodily function jokes. Usually Disney does actually do a pretty good job at being able to crack jokes, um, especially in these uh, CGI uh, movies and whatnot. But that's I think that's all I really have to say about Inside Out. Overall, if I had to rate this movie, it would definitely be a solid 9 out of 10. This is a very, very great movie. Like I said, I don't really fully understand the movie yet. You know, I haven't watched it all, a whole bunch of times. I'm not a movie critic or whatever. Uh, but I've watched it enough times to make a movie review on it and tell you how, how I feel about this movie. It is a very, very great movie. There was only a few parts that I didn't like, so I'm just going to give it a 9 out of 10. But it is one of my most favorite Disney movies out there. This was a huge, huge success. Uh, so yeah, that's it for Inside Out. Alright, so I did not expect that to go as well as it did. Uh, I did, a few days ago, do uh, another movie review, but then that didn't go really well, so I did this one. And uh, I'm happy this one was uh, a lot better and it went through a lot smoother than my last movie re review. But do expect quite a lot of movie reviews 
coming in unless I come up with some other ideas for videos here and there. But the main videos for right now are probably going to be movie reviews now that's a new idea coming in. A few other ideas that people on the Discord have presented is like reaction videos and they get to choose what videos you react to. I think that'd be an interesting idea, uh, but I would like to get a webcam before I do that. Um, and I think that's all I really have to say. Uh, so if you have any ideas for videos, join the Discord. There is a channel in there for video ideas, so you can talk on there and we can agree on something and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I really have to say. Join the Discord. Link will be in the description, of course. And read the community posts so that you can stay up to date. Make sure that you're looking at recent posts and not posts from like a month ago. So other than that, like and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you next time.